In Judges chapter 6, we're introduced to a man named Gideon, who was hiding away, head down, working hard. Something many of us could say the same about our day to day. How often do we labor away, rarely lifting our eyes off our tasks to have an encounter with the Lord? Well, that's exactly what we see happen here. God calling Gideon to take his eyes off of his task and put them on him. And when God gives Gideon the details of his plan, it's clear that Gideon's self-evaluation falls much shorter than God's view of him. Gideon is so caught off guard, he questions God. Take a look at verses 14 through 15. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. But Lord, Gideon replied, how can I rescue Israel? My clan is the weakest in the whole tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my entire family. In a simple plea, Gideon basically tells God, pardon me, Lord, you must be mistaken, not me. I'm weak, unequipped, not capable. You can't mean me, Lord. Gideon trembles with fear of the unknown, his anxious thoughts made clear in his words. And how many times have we felt this way when God is calling us to do something? But check it out. The story doesn't end there though. Even when we experience doubt and fear, we can know that we can have peace. In God's infinite goodness, he fills Gideon with the fullness of his peace and he'll do the same for us. Gideon is so overwhelmed after his encounter with God that he stops and worships right where he stands, building an altar to the Lord. He called the altar Yahweh Shalom, which means the Lord is peace. Gideon is changed in that moment from doubt-filled to peace-filled. Listen, spending time with the Lord in prayer, in worship, in reading his word, it enables us to experience the peace that can only come from our creator. He knows what we face and what we fear, and he is faithful to equip us to move forward in confidence and in peace.